Hello, Jazzcut here. Welcome to an IMVU Studio tutorial on optimizing meshes. Before we begin, it should be noted, although Blender is used here for illustrative purposes, the topics and themes covered apply equally to 3D Studio Max, SketchUp, Maya, and other content authoring tools. Some basic knowledge of 2D and 3D software is also useful. With that out of the way, let's dig in. Mesh optimization is a big and controversial topic. Users want their avatars, rooms, accessories and other products to be as realistic as possible, so creators wanting to fulfill that need instinctively make their meshes incredibly detailed. In doing so, this inadvertently causes a host of performance issues because IMVU isn't designed to render such high resolution, highly detailed content. It's a low resolution, real time online game environment that actually obligates use of appropriately sized textures and minimally detailed meshes. This does not mean products must use blocky meshes or blurry or pixelated textures, however. So let's take a closer look at the implications of this in practice. First, text usage. When meshing, textures should be scaled relative to the area covered and or relative to the camera's proximity. For example, a plane the size of the avatar's hand has different requirements to one that's the size of the entire avatar. So UV mapping a 512 by 256 texture to the first is inefficient because 1. It's too small an object for texture detail to be seen and 2. Camera clipping prevents the object being inspected close enough to see any such detail represented by the image mapped. It makes sense then to use smaller images on smaller objects, larger images on larger objects. A general exception to this concerns textures that repeat or tile or instances where a limited color palette is being used. For example, large expanses can be UV mapped using a texture that tiles or repeats several, or as many times as needed, across a surface, useful for natural environments or larger objects. Similarly, a limited color palette could be used, tiled or repeated, or to implement another optimization where single colored textures are to be used, both large and small areas can be mapped with an image that's just a few pixels in size, a texture that would be stretched or tiled without the noticeable issues common to tiling, repetition indicators, or stretching, blurring. For meshes, the second but not any less important aspect of optimizing, the chief culprit is their density, that is, how much structure an object uses to describe its shape. In this context, describing an object's shape, the latter point is crucial to optimization because what we need to look at is the silhouette of an object, how it reads in profile or outline, not the mesh's innards. What this means in practice is that when meshing a given object, it is built relative to how well the outer profile reads to the viewer, primarily because the innards are not as easily discerned as the aforementioned silhouette. In other words, a flat plane is no lesser a flat surface made from a face, four edges and four vertices than one from 4000. In both instances, we look to the profile to tell us what the object is. For low resolution, real time game engines like IMVU, this principle is important to understand as a crucial optimization that keeps mesh data to a minimum file sizes down. In summary, Build meshes with minimal structure, avoid subdividing or increasing resolution just because it can be done, avoid UV mapping large images to small objects. As we can see, thinking about image use when UV mapping meshes and reducing the amount of superfluous mesh structure whilst meshing can go a long way to optimizing products to use fewer resources, keep projects manageable and maintain small file sizes especially for derivable products that can soon bloat the longer the derivation tree becomes. <laughs> 